Hey guys, it's Bodhi with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a complete Fire Stick setup guide for 2024 that walks you through step by step on everything you need to do to set up your Amazon Fire Stick correctly. Now, if you stick around towards the end of this setup video, I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks on things that you can do to maximize your streaming experience with your Amazon Fire Stick. So I suggest following along here as I'm going to go through this Fire Stick setup process step by step. So the very first thing you need to do when you plug in your Amazon Fire Stick to your remote is hold down the home button on your remote for about 10 seconds. You'll see I'm getting all these messages now in different languages. But if you hold down your Fire Stick remote for about 10 seconds, this should go away. All right, and as you'll see now, I'm getting a Fire TV screen. So click the, pre click the pause and play button to be move on to the next step. So once you do that, you'll see your language. Click English or whatever language that you prefer. And then here is how you can set up your Fire TV app or set up your remote. So you can either install the Fire TV application or you can set up manually with your Fire TV remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and click set up with remote and now it's going to search for my Wi-Fi network. And here is my Wi-Fi network, Google Fiber 13. Obviously click on whatever Wi-Fi network you are using. And here it's gonna ask for your Wi-Fi password. So I'm gonna enter in my Wi-Fi password and then skip ahead to the next step. All right, so after I've entered in my Wi-Fi password, give it a few seconds for it to connect and I get a connection successful message. So that's good. Now the next thing it's going to do is it's going to search for system updates. So it says downloading the latest software. And unfortunately, as opening a device for the very first time, this could take several minutes. Mine says finishing updates, so that's good to see. But just giving you guys a warning now that for brand new Fire TV devices, these system updates could take several minutes. So just be aware of that. So now it says finishing updates and now it says sign in with your Amazon account. So you must have an Amazon account in order to use a Fire TV device like a Fire Stick. So I do have an account. I'm gonna click have an account sign in. And then there's a few ways you can do this. You can do this with a QR code or you can sign in online by going to amazon.com forward slash code on a separate device. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna go to amazon.com slash code, enter in that code on the bottom there, that ENZQ5M, and then I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna come back after I've completed that. All right, so I just entered in the code on another device and here it says successfully registered. So I've successfully registered my Amazon Fire Stick with my Amazon account. So it says this Fire TV Stick 4K Max will be registered to your account. I'm gonna click continue. And then it's gonna say save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. I wanna click yes. And now it's saying checking for backup. So if you had an existing Fire TV account on a separate device, you can restore. I would just click skip if you do get that message. And now it's going to prepare your remote for setup. So you just have to be a little patient here while we're going through these various steps. And then it says we'll be playing music. Please make sure the volume is tur turned up and then click continue. So I'm gonna click next. And here it's going to ask if I hear volume so I can control the TV with my Fire Stick remote. So it says with your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, toggle the volume up and down. So I'm going to do that. And you probably won't be able to hear the music in this video, but yes, I am hearing audio. So I'm going to click yes. Your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Click OK. And now it says optimizing. So you're just going to have to be patient again as we're booting things up for the first time. And now I'm on a message here that says kid friendly content. No thanks. And this is one of the things that you have to deal with when getting a new Fire Stick, Fire TV, or even Android device or all these upsells, upsells to streaming services, streaming apps. I'm just gonna click no thanks to all of these different messages. Uh, you can add parental controls if you want. If you have children in the household, I'm gonna click no parental controls. And then it says welcome to Fire TV. So I'm just gonna click got it. And then it's gonna prompt you to sign into your Amazon account. So here is my primary Amazon account. I'm gonna click my Amazon icon, give it a few seconds, and here we go. My Fire Stick is now fully loaded and set up 
from start to finish. So there's a lot you can do here, guys, but that is the basic setup process step-by-step step, of how you can set up a brand new Fire Stick or Fire TV device. So if you've made it this far, just a few tips and tricks I wanna show you now after you've launched your Fire Stick for the very first time. What you can do here is you can hover over the settings icon. That's what this is right here on the very right. That's the settings icon. And just something quick that I would suggest you do is I would click preferences. And then after you click preferences, you can click privacy settings. And I want to turn all of these privacy settings off. Device usage data, turn that off. Collect app usage data, turn that off. Interest-based ads, turn that off. That way Amazon can just not collect more data than it has already collected about my user profile on this device. I just wanna try to be as secure as I possibly can on my new Fire Stick. So make sure you turn all that off. Data usage monitoring, make sure that's turned off. Notifications, I would suggest turning off notifications if they're not off already. Featured content, I would turn off both of these options. Allow video autoplay, allow audio autoplay. I would just turn that off to help limit ads a little bit. Um, and now once you've done that, those are just a few things that you can do right away. The next thing I would suggest doing is, again, hover over the settings icon here, and I would scroll down, and if it's going to allow me here, and this is the issue when launching Fire Sticks for the first time, guys, I'm just doing this in real time, is things take no longer than usual to kind of boot up, show here, so a little glitchy here right away, but now that the settings icon is fully working, I'm gonna scroll down and click My Fire TV, and then I'm gonna click About. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Fire TV Stick 4K Max about four, you know, four or five times until I get the following message. No need, you are already a developer. So by doing this, I have now enabled developer options. And if I click the back button, you'll see developer options here. You would not see this before if you did not click Fire TV Stick 4K Max about seven times. So now that I have developer options here, I have the ability to install third-party applications outside of the Amazon App Store. And I do have several videos that go through that in more detail. And I'll be sure to leave a link to those in the video description below for you guys to check that out. So that's it guys. Those are some tips and tricks after you've set up your Amazon Fire Stick for the first time. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. If so, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to also comment below if you purchased a new Fire Stick or if you prefer Android devices. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what your streaming device preference is. And also guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. So I hope you all have an excellent 2024 and I also hope you all have a great day.